Today you are going to learn about adverbs. This will help you because at the end of the week you're going to be writing a short story from a video clip from Harry Potter. So first of all for your anchor I would like you to watch the video on YouTube from Grammasaurus. This is a recap of what we've already learned before about what an adverb is. And then I'm going to go into a bit more detail for you the three different ways that we can use an adverb. So when you've watched the video you can carry on with mine and watch the next clip. So, adverbs can be used in three different ways. They can be used to describe a verb, an adjective, or they can also be used to describe another adverb. So, I have got for you three sentences, which show how the different ways of an adverb being used. In my first sentence, the adverb is being used to describe the verb. So the sentence says, I ran quickly. The word ran is the verb, it's the action that's taking place. And the adverb is describing how I ran. I ran quickly. Now, this is an adverb of manner, and we can change it to be another word. It could be that I ran stealthily. Okay, the word stealthily is still describing how I ran, so therefore it's still an adverb. In my next sentence, I have got the adverb describing the adjective this time. Now remember, an adjective is a word that describes the noun. So the noun in here is the car. So the car is the noun. And I'm saying that the car is small. The word was in our sentence is the verb. It's telling me what's happening. The car was small. So the adjective is the word small. But it's not just small, my car is very small. So the adverb of very is describing how small the car actually was. So the adverb is describing the adjective. In my next sentence, the adverb is describing another adverb and that adverb is describing the verb. So the buzz stopped almost immediately. The buzz being the noun and the verb being stopped. The buzz stopped. That's what it did. And the buzz stopped immediately. So the first adverb here is describing how the buzz stopped. Now, my second adverb is telling me how immediately my buzz stopped. And it didn't stop straight away. Actually, it stopped almost immediately. Therefore, the adverb is describing another adverb and this adverb is describing the verb. So it's quite tricky to understand at first but hopefully over the week you'll get the idea and be able to use some of in your writing. Now to help you you have got a prompt mat. This prompt mat has got lots of adverbs on there for you but you can go and find your own too. Now Adverbs can be used in different ways. They could tell us how something is done. That's the adverb of manner. Manner adverbs are normally ones that are used to describe the verb. They could tell us when something happens. So that's an adverb of time. How often. Adverb of frequency. Where. Adverb of place. And how much. That can be an adverb of possibility. We've also got some other adverbs here as well to help you and more useful ones for when we are describing other adverbs and when we are doing some non-fiction writing. So for today's challenge you're going to work on your grammar. So in your books I would like you to answer these questions. Okay so you have got eight different questions to answer. I know it says a circle but you don't need to print them off. If you instead just write the numbers down and write down the words that are adverbs for these questions here. In these sentences, if you write out the sentences and then underline or circle then the adverbs, you can copy these down as well and then write true or false for your last two questions. When you have finished the eight questions, you can then go on to learning by questions. The code is available on our Dolphins page today for you to practice your adverbs. If you then would like to do an extension task, you go on to the next page, there are some extension questions to deepen your thinking. I hope you found that useful. If you are stuck, remember to email through to us and you can send your learning to me and Miss Williams today. And then if you would like the answers, we can also send the answers back to you.